hello welcome to ifocus tutorials today in this video i am going to explain the de morgan's theorem in the last video i had explained the first de morgan's theorem and so in this video i am going to explain the second de morgan's theorem so i will be explaining this video with respect to its proof which will include the boolean laws as well as the tabular proof now we will see what this de morgan's second theorem says the second theorem states that the complement of the sum is equal to the product of the complements means if you observe the left hand side we have two variables that is a and b which have been ordered that is a plus operation or an addition operation and then a complement has been taken so this equation becomes an equation for our nor gate similarly our rhs again it has two variables but a complement has been taken for an individual variable that is a bar and a b bar again these two variables have been multiplied so it becomes a bubble and gate now if i want to draw a circuit statement for this equation or this theorem how i will draw is first i am drawing the lhs so i have two inputs that is a and b so i have taken a two input there is a plus operation so i have taken an or gate and there is a complement so i have taken a bubble which makes it a nor gate so at the op uh, output i will get operation as a plus b bar this gives me my lhs that is the left hand side similarly for the right hand side i have two inputs so i have taken two inputs but both the inputs have been complemented individually so i have given a input to a not gate and at the output i will get a a barrier similarly the b input has been given to a not gate and at the output i will get a b barrier and both these complemented outputs have been given to a and gate why because there is a product or a multiplication so this a bar into b bar is at my output so this becomes the circuit statement for my th second theorem now to prove uh, this second theorem i have to prove two complements theorem so the two complements theorem are a plus a bar is equal to 1 and the second complement theorem is a dot a bar is equal to 0 as uh, we have done this proof in the first theorem also similarly i have to prove this theorems also the complement theorem so i will start with the first theorem now in this case i am considering my a as my rhs that is a bar dot b bar it is my a so i am replacing it here that is a bar dot b bar plus now what i have to take i have to take a complement of this a bar so i will show it here how we have to take the complement that is a bar dot b bar whole bar so if i open this bar it will give me a double bar bar operation to a multiplication sign will give me a plus so plus b double bar so at the output my double bar gets cancelled and i will get a plus b so i am taking am i a plus b here so it is a plus b so by using the distributive law i am opening my brackets as a plus b plus a bar dot second term will be a plus b plus b bar now if you observe this a plus a bar i have written the law here a plus a bar gives me a 1 so it is nothing but 1 plus b into again the second term that is b plus b bar will give me a 1 so it is a plus 1 now any var variable which is added to a 1 gives me a 1 itself so 1 plus b will give me a 1 into a plus 1 again will give me a 1 and 1 into 1 my answer is again 1 so my first complement theorem has been proved here to get the information about the tutorials press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get the notification 
Now I will prove the second complement theorem. So again I am taking my a as a bar dot b bar. So a bar dot b bar dot again a complement of this a bar. I have calculated here the answer is a plus b. So I will write it as a plus b. Now by using the distributive law again I am opening my brackets here which will give me a bar dot b bar dot a plus a bar dot b bar dot b sorry it is b now if you again observe this law a dot a bar gives me a zero here i have a bar dot a which will give me a zero so zero dot b bar plus again b bar and b multiplication will give me a zero so it will be a bar dot zero zero multiply by any variable will give me a zero only so zero plus zero and hence my output is zero so here both my complement theorem has been proved so by using the boolean laws we can prove the second theorem in this way now next is the tabular proof for this second theorem now as you can see there are two inputs here a and b so i am taking my first columns as a and b as the input if you observe here i have individual complements of my input so i am taking the next column as a bar and b bar next is nothing but a plus b i have to add both these inputs so i am taking a column as a plus b now i have to take a complement of this column so next column will be a plus b bar and my last column will be multiplication of these individual complemented inputs so third column and fourth column multiplication which will give me a bar dot b bar now what i have to prove here i have to prove my this column will be equal to my last column so we will see whether it is equal now i will start with the inputs as there are two inputs i'll get four combinations here so i have written the four combinations now what the next column has it has a bar so i have to complement my first column so zero complement will give me one zero complement give me one one complement give me a zero and one complement will give me a zero similarly my next column is nothing but complement of this second column so zero complement one one complement zero a one and a zero now what i have to do i have to add the first column and the second column to make it a plus b so i have to add this zero plus zero will give me a zero zero plus one will give me a one one plus zero will give me a one and one plus one again it will give me a one now i have to complement this so it will give me one zero zero and a zero and the last column it is nothing but multiplication of these two columns that is a bar and b bar so one into one it will give me a one one into zero it will give me a zero zero into one it will give me a zero and zero into zero it will give me a zero now if you observe this column and my last column both the columns are same so here we can say that my lhs is equal to rhs and my second theorem has been proved by tabular method also